Hi, welcome to Free Spirit and welcome to an additional special spirit reading and messages because of what came out in the February weekly all about of us manifesting and to feel love support backing. I literally want to do remember divine love for you while manifesting. Remember divine love for you while you are manifesting. Okay, so we're going to get right into it. We're going to tap into the Remember You deck for the qualities that they want you to remember that's in your heart when it comes to you manifesting here. They want to also tap into the Divine Power deck, what your Divine Power should be used for at this time to maximize while you are manifesting here. We're going to tap into the Real Divine Self Care deck. This is going to be messages probably to help you be in balance while you're manifesting because that has been a repeating message but Real Divine Self-Care for your Divine Power here. We're going to tap into the Real Divine Abundance deck. These are going to be clear messages all about Real Divine Abundance. Remember, it came out in the other reading, Know Your Source and Supplier. Um, so they're going to be direct messages when it comes to Real Divine Abundance and manifesting more of that. We're going to tap into the Divine Spirit deck for direct guidance from Divine Spirit to your Divine Spirit and end it with Pure Love from Spirit, which I feel like this all is. So definitely pay attention to your own intuition um, besides what I say, but also this is piggybacking on the last, very last video that I just did and posted to the channel all about manifesting and the support that you have for it. So that's why this is called Remember Divine Love for You While Manifesting. That's the clear intention behind this reading. Whatever the length of the video is, I'll look up the angel number message and it will provide further support. So this is to feel divine love. All these birds just soared by to feel divine love while you are manifesting. To feel divine love support backing while you are manifesting here. To feel divine love. So what are the qualities they want you to remember as you are manifesting here? So this is divine support for you manifesting. To feel, remember divine love while you are manifesting. That love support backing. That's what we out in the other reading. So here we are. Yeah, remember you are to love your life. That is where they're pushing us. Remember you are to love your life. And remember you are important. So that is what they're bringing forth. While you are manifesting here, they want you to hold in your heart. You are to love your life. Remember you are to love your life. And remember you are important. Make yourself your own VIP, like your needs, your wants, your wishes, what you want, how your days to be, your life to be, what you're manifesting. You are you are important. Those needs, wants, wishes, what your goals are, your visions are, those are important. You are important, and you are to love your life. So no doubt they're putting that, feeding that in your heart as you're manifesting here. They want you to know that. You are to love your life, and you are important. So we're going to tap into the Divine Power Deck to get clear messages, what your Divine Power should be used for as you're manifesting things and shaping your life to be more full of what you love. And remember that you are important to do that for what you're manifesting, to direct your energies, your divine ingredients to uh, flourish that more in your life, that you're important. Yeah, you have divine power to figure it out. So they want you to know that you have divine power to figure that out. So it landed right here, especially you are to love your life. The divine power to figure that out. What can you manifest right now that actually will have you loving your life even more? They're helping you to figure that out. And you have divine power to turn up now. So no doubt they are instilling in you almost like that you're important that you're important. A lot of us on the channel, we're givers, we're there for everyone else, but they're putting it back on us that we are important and you are to love your life. So they're going to help you figure that out. And they're giving you the divine power to turn up now, turn it up a notch in your life and start pouring it out on the things that are really going to add and support your life, loving it even more. You're important. You are important. Your needs, wishes, what you're wanting to manifest. It's like support that and turn that up now. And they're actually giving you the divine power to use for that and also to figure it out. So we're going to tap into the real divine self-care messages. Remember you're the love of your life and remember you are important. I don't know why that important is really leaping out because we were talking about that on the channel that you don't get that in the physical. Um, but they're telling you that you are important. You're to love more of your life. So they're going to help you figure that out as you're manifesting. And you have divine power to use for that right now. So two, oh wow, there's a lot. Oh yeah, and this is exactly why I'm doing this reading. 
look at the thing. It said, remember divine love as you're manifesting. Remember divine love for you as while you're manifesting. And then look, know wholeheartedly you have divine love and support all through your life. They are supporting you to love your life. You're important. They're going to help you figure it out. Know wholeheartedly you have divine love and support through your life all throughout your life as you're manifesting. Remind yourself often of your divine power to actually get things you want or need done. Remember, you are to love your life. You are important. Your needs, your wants. They're telling you to remind yourself often of your divine power to actually get things you want or need done. Because this is what they want you to hold in your heart. And they're giving you the divine power to turn up now, quite literally. When I mean, it's literally... It's literally, they're going to help you figure this out. Like where to apply it, your needs, your wants, and having putting your divine power into that to manifest more of that. So remind yourself often of your divine power to actually get things you want or need done. Remember, you are important. So they're shifting you to that. They're supporting you with that. Like no wholeheartedly, you have divine love and support for that. To figure it out, to apply your divine power to that. Remind yourself often, quite literally, of your divine power to actually get things you want or need done. And you know wholeheartedly you have divine love and support for that. The next one is treat yourself well to all that uplifts your spirit and supports you along the way. So not only are they supporting you, but they want you to support yourself as well to get your wants and needs and everything done manifesting and maintain healthy boundaries with others so that you are protected and feel safe. Remember again, that balance, they really, really, really are helping us with the balance so that we are actually applying our divine power to our wants and needs to get fulfilled here, right? To get that done, to apply your divine power. So they could have been helping for us to retain our balance, to provide healthier balance, uh, to healthier balances by healthier boundaries. And they could really have been working with you or showing you gently like where you can maintain healthier boundaries, right? You feel protected and feel safe, but then also the over giver, overdoer, over not being on the list, like you are important, that you're actually applying your divine power to get things you want or need done. That that's what they're supporting. And to stay balanced. Treat yourself to all that uplifts your spirit and maintain healthy boundaries with others because your divine power is to be turned up, not squandered, and Poured out to the things that you want to get done, your wants, your needs. So that is what they're addressing and they're putting an explanation mark on that. It's been coming out in the recent readings. So we're going to tap into the Real Divine Abundance deck. So they're really directing your divine energy to your wants and needs, bringing you back to like those needs and wants are important. You are important. You are to love your life. So have healthier boundaries. You know you wholeheartedly have divine love and support all through your life. They're going to help you figure it out. But to remind yourself often that you actually have the divine power to get those things that you want or need done. And they're actually giving you that divine power to do it, you know, to manifest more of what you really want. That's actually going to have you love your life more because you're putting in place things that you need or want. A lot of this was along the way, make sure you stay uplifted in spirit and support yourself along the way and maintain those healthy boundaries with others because this is a time to focus on your needs and wants to manifest. So this is Real Divine Abundance Messages supporting you as you're manifesting here more of what you want. Yes. Focus. You can't make this up. Okay. So they're saying focus more on all you love right now. Listen to your intuition and follow where it leads. You can always think of something to do right now that will spur you on to go even further and higher. And pour even more of yourself into things and see them really flourish. So that is where they're keeping you. They're keeping you lit in your divine power turned up, figuring out things on how you can love your life even more. How can you incorporate more things that you enjoy in your life or are paying off for you? You are important. So they're bringing you back to that, to your needs, your wants. Reminding yourself of the divine power to actually get things you want or need done. So... They're telling you that you wholeheartedly have divine love and support. How you're, they're going to help you is listen to your intuition, follow where it leads, focus on all you love right now, follow your intuition. You can always think of something to do right now that will spur you on to go further and higher and pour even more of yourself into the things and see them really flourish. That's why they're saying divine power is turned up now. So this could be a time where you find an increase in some kind of stamina, resilience, divine power, that you're pouring even more of yourself into the things that you really want to flourish. So that 
remember you are to love your life and you're important. So they were bringing you back to that. So it might be a real time where they're really showing you through your intuition, figuring it out. How are you directing and pouring yourself into things that are really going to be manifesting more of what you want? Literally, like literally you're actually getting the things you want or need done. And you know how hardly your divine love and support for that. So they're telling you to focus, which has been a repeating message. You listen to your intuition. You can always choose right now something to do that's going to spur you on to go further and higher and pour yourself more into the things that you really want here. You are important. You're to love your life. Um, so that's where they're directing you as you're manifesting here. So let's get the divine spirit messages. Oh, gosh. That fell out right away. Treat yourself really well and focus on your needs and wants as you're manifesting it. They're wholeheartedly supporting you. Follow and listen to your intuition because they're kind of leading you as you're trying to figure it out. But remember, you're important. Sometimes we sacrifice. Oh, my God, you can't make this up. The first one was we will steer you in the right direction. Remember, listen to your intuition. Follow where it leads. You have divine power to figure it out. We will steer you in the right directions. That's your wholehearted uh, divine love and support all through your life. They're steering you in the right directions. They just want you to know that as you're manifesting. You have divine help here now, and you're not going to believe the last one. You are so divinely loved right now. And look at the header. It said, remember divine love while you are manifesting. Remember divine love while you are manifesting. They're going to help steer you in the right directions. You have divine help. You are so divinely loved right now. Again, wholeheartedly, you have divine love and support all through your life. So they're definitely reminding you that you are important, your needs, your wants. You are to love your life. I know it sounds like simple words, but it's from the choices and where you're pouring your divine power. So they're bringing it back that you are important. Remember you are important and you are to love your life. So they're helping you to figure it out. Where are you pouring your divine? They're giving you the divine power to pour things out now so that you are actually getting the things that you need or want done and you're actually flourishing the, more of the things that you want. So that's what they're saying. And you're, you're being divinely helped and guided. They're steering you in the right directions. That's how they're helping you to figure it out. Um, but definitely, definitely focus, focus, focus and pour more of yourself out and know that you're important. You're important. You are to love your life. And as you're pouring things out, you're really going to see them flourish is what they're saying. So let's get the uh, pure love from spirit. We have divine help here now and you're so divinely loved right now. It's landing wholeheartedly. It's landing on the wholeheartedly you have love and support as you're manifesting here. The number one card that landed right here, no wholeheartedly you have divine love and support all through your life. We want you to go for it. Could they bring it home anymore? So they want you to go for things right now, especially when it comes to your wants, your needs, and everything else that you're trying to manifest. They're reminding you, you are to love your life. You know, sometimes we get so lost in everything. You're as simple as that. You're to love your life and you are important. So they're giving you like, they're helping you to figure it out and steering you in the right directions and pour more of yourself into things to really flourish more of what you really want. Like that's what they're giving you the divine power for to turn up and actually um, do that for yourself. So you're actually are manifesting more of what you want. Like they said, we want you to go for it. So follow through on what you're getting, what you're figuring out that actually helps you manifest more of what you really want they want you to go for it wholeheartedly like it says up here remember divine love as you're manifesting while you're manifesting right they're helping you to figure this out and to feel that love love has come out in three cards here um to go forward and actually manifest more of what you want but no wholeheartedly i love this card so much because when you know something wholeheartedly there's no room for anything else so know wholeheartedly you have divine love and support all through your life as you're manifesting. Because they're saying as you're doing this, you're going to see things really flourish. So what I'm saying is you could have really felt guided to coming back to you. What do you want and need to be manifesting right now? Where are you being focused to really manifest more of what you really want to love your life? Um, they're really steering you in that direction. They're helping you to figure that out. Um, and even just follow where that leads, right? I mean, it doesn't, you, sometimes I always say you never know A through Z, but that you could figure out A to B and B will lead to C and C to D because just keep that in your heart that you're important and they're helping you to get things done and remind yourself as you're doing that. 
Remind yourself of your divine power to actually get things you want or need done and uh, focus on that because that's what's flourishing here and they're bringing you back to that. So I wish you the best to, I like the header says, remember divine love for you while you are manifesting. While you are manifesting, remember you are to love your life. You are important. You are important and you have wholeheartedly, you have divine love and support all through your life. They're telling you to go for it. So focus more on all you love right now and pour more of that out. That's what's, that's what's flourishing. That's what they're saying. But to know that you have support all through that. I wish you the best. Take care. Bye-bye.